Hey guys, it's me Rahul with another installment of upcoming Futuristic Tech. You guys love the first one, so let's get started. Starting off with my favorite on this list, it is Pugs Earphone. They are wireless earphones, but not an ordinary one. The super good looking earphones are wireless, high quality, and the main feature is that they charge through phone. It is kind of a small idea, but it is gonna change the whole wireless earphone industry for sure. With this, when you run out of battery, just connect one end of the cable to your phone and other to magnetic connector and keep on listening. When it is fully charged, unplug the connector and use it like a normal wireless earphones. I am super pumped to get my hands on this and I know you guys are too. So please back this project on Kickstarter. And I want to say special thanks to Perks. They are super kind enough to me that they send me the whole video in top quality. So enjoy the video, it is super awesome. This is not a sponsored or anything like that. I thought it is awesome. So if you guys want to skip the part, skip this part, there will be an annotation on the somewhere in the screen. And we're tired so of the corporate that. giant's laziness. Regular earphones have wires that tangle and limit your movement. And the few wireless ones out there are too big, run out of batteries, and on top of that are useless while you charge them. So we took matters in our own hands and developed Pugs, the world's smallest wireless earphones that you can charge through your phone. Look at those puppies. This self-guiding magnetic connector is going to change the game. If the battery is out, just connect it to your phone and keep on listening. We designed it not as a square, nor a circle. We call it the, the squirkle. squirkle. For the best electrical conductivity, our connecting elements are made of 18 karat gold. Our Pugs earphones are not only small, they're also packed with badass sound and come in two different models depending on what kind of fit you prefer. They are available in four colors to suit everyone and of course you can talk on the phone with them. A full charge takes 40 minutes which gives you four and a half hours of music and it only uses 3% of a smartphone's battery capacity. If the battery's out, just plug it in and keep on listening. The development phase is done and we are ready to go. Now, we need your help to go into production. You now have two choices. You push the back button and the story ends. You'll wake up tomorrow with your regular earphones and this project will cease to exist. Or you push the green pledge button and we start our journey and explore how deep this rabbit hole goes. The choice is yours. Next one is Remix Mini, a surprisingly powerful affordable PC which runs on slimmed down version of Android. My first thought on this product was, ha, huh, another cheap Android PC, such a waste. But I was totally wrong. From the videos, it seems like the system actually runs pretty smooth. Remix Mini is powered by the latest 64-bit chipset and delivers up to 20-30% to better performance than its 32-bit counterparts. Even though it is small, it got all the goods that you need, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0 and USB. And there are two versions, one with 1GB RAM and 8GB ROM and also a 2GB RAM and 6GB ROM variant. For media consumption, the 1GB RAM variant will be fine but if you want to high up the game and want to use it as sort of like a personal, more personal PC, then 2GB variant will be good for those multitasking and stuff like that. Anyway, it's great. I forgot to tell you guys one thing, it is only 40 US dollars, 40 US dollars, how crazy is that? I am definitely gonna get one if they ship this product to my place. Next up it is Passport. I have seen so many prototypes like this one. One of my questions that I had in my mind was when these things make life sort of easier, what about security? Let that sit aside and talk about this product. Passport is a security device designed as a keychain so that you will carry it with you just as your car, home or office keys. It works with all of your everyday devices, mobile or computer with all your favorite platforms. You can create master keys using icons, letters and symbols. Once you've done that, you can then send your user and password via Bluetooth or USB. 
My question still remains, when we are going in a way that everything is technologized, I don't know if that is a real word or not, but my point is we are now in a world that everything seems like in future. I really hope that this future is one of those future things, but how secure is it? I think people are concerned more about security and privacy than doing things easily. Next one is Oasis. I love this kind of project. It's not futuristic neon flashing virtual world thing, but it is in fact very very important than those. Oasis is a portable water purifying system or modular water filter system. It is also the world's first portable water purifier and I think it is great. I can easily predict that this product will be on almost everybody in just 5 years. Now water is becoming more and more pollutant and this product will be life changing for a lot of people. Yeah that's it for this product, I really love this product, maybe I will get one. Last one for this video is Mycroft. It is a personal assistant for home and it can control all the things that are connected to it. Sort of like an assistant for your internet of things, that's basically it. It tells you your schedule and connect to other microbes and it is overall a good device. And what is really exciting is it is open source as well as open hardware. That is anyone can implement their own features to it and because it is running on Raspberry Pi, anyone can easily add new modules to do a several lot of other things which is pretty cool. So that's it guys, hope you guys like my video and thank you, goodbye.